Yeah, Far. big oh, fish. Nice. That looks big like a one. good one. This one's huge. Nice. Wow, that's really big. Yeah, this is a there. big brown. Come on, fish with Latin, and you'll have some fun. Catch some fly in Alaska on the wild Yukon, or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. So, a really big sagebrush in here, it's pretty cool. As long as we don't see any snakes around. Yep, I see a hole down there. It's a big one. I think it's big. I was cranking up my line, hoping to get the fish on the reel. Big one. Come on, baby. Yeah, that's a really nice fish right here, folks. Man, just a big old, beautiful brownie. <laughs> wow, what can I say? I've worked this little inside seam for quite a while. It's just about ready to give up on it. And then my indicator went down, set the hook, and I just felt a really strong weight. I mean, it just put up such a good fight in this current. But fortunately for me, it kept swimming upstream, which really helped me fight that fish. Beautiful brown. This is a nymph rig I used to catch that fish on. Up above, I have a pheasant tail nymph. And below that, I'm running a lightning bug, about a size 16, very effective. Oh, I saw one rise. Yeah, I saw that rise. I don't know if I could get to it, but that was a fish. <laughs> Pounded it. Got it on the reel. Nope, oh, got too far up there. Oh well. It's a good brownie on the midge. Water slows down here just a little bit, enough to get a midge. Boy, that's got beautiful spots on him. All right, boy, this uh, brownie has some gorgeous orange spots on him. Look at that. If you could see that, he was moving pretty good, but nice fish. Uh, real slow, steady, kind of deep flow here. So uh, try to uh, black coronamid under an indicator, maybe six or seven feet, and yeah, about down in there. But it just took off, hit it hard. That was fun. That last fish was caught on a black coronamid with a silver bead head and a silver wrap around it, size 16. Did a great job. Is it a brown, he's, Larry? It's a brown. All right. He's kind of average size, kind of what we've been doing. What are you using now? I got a copper john on top and then the red copper john on the bottom. All right. He took the top one, it looks like. Beautiful little brown trout right there. Love those little light tips. Yeah. I mean, just saw Steve catch one up there, and so I thought, I can't be the only one. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> uh, that brown trout was caught under an indicator with uh, two copper johns, uh, a regular copper john and a red copper john. All right. I knew there was one over there, there had to be. Oh boy, it's a pretty good one too. Try to get some of my line in. 
Well, I can. Yeah, looks like a... I finally grabbed the net and prepared to land the fish. Brown trout. That was a lot of work. Wading all the way across this river, found some soft water, tossing it up against that bank. It's a nice brown. Now hopefully there's something bigger in there, but it's still a really nice fish. It's a good little riffle right here. And I'm just casting it up in this riffle and letting it, letting it go right down the soft water. Right up, kind of against close to that bank over there. Yeah, Far big old, fish. Nice. That looks big like a good one. one. This one's huge. Nice. Wow, that's really big. Yeah, this is a there. big brown. Awesome. It's probably three or four pounds. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. Yeah, it's huge. I don't want to go downstream at all. Gotta keep them going upstream. Must. That is a big fish. That it's is a big a nice one. one. Good job keeping them up Thank there. Thank you. Oh, good heavens. Oh. He's putting on a good fight. Yeah, too, he is. Man. He's getting worn out with some my Oh boy. Oh boy. Holy smokes. Man, alive I had him close. Here we go again. I was trying to move the big fish closer, which was difficult in the strong current. Oh. So much for that ground I just gained. Such a big fish. Come on. I gotta try it. I gotta get it close. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that fish. What a gorgeous brown. Oh man, I just came all the way across because it's just a nice deep bank over here. And I caught one smaller brown and then I caught that tank. And I tell you what, I just could not get it in. I was sitting there pulling and pulling. Finally, I decided I gotta, I gotta switch hands and try to net it opposite. But I finally got that thing in. I have no idea how I got it in. None, but a gorgeous, beautiful fish. Steve is casting his flies within inches of the bank. Yeah! <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my net on me. Oh boy. I was in the process of changing. I don't know if I can get yours off you. Sure. Tell you what, the current over here is just yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's strong. This is not as big a fish, but it's fighting like crazy. I just can't imagine how you got that fish in. Yeah, I have no idea. That's a nice one. Though. It is, it's a beauty. Very nice. 
guys. <laughs> Woo. That's fun. Uh -huh. Gosh, what a gorgeous brown trout. Ladden caught just a monster a little bit ago. This is uh, really nice. Look at the black spots on that thing. Woo! That was so much fun. Just this little pocket water on the other side of the river. We come all the way across. Just got it right in there, held it high so it slowed it down, and boom, it hit. Jumped out of the water. That was fun. Ladden caught a beautiful fish in that last hole. Time to move on, find something better. It's uh, not too often we get to walk on such a good trail as this, going fishing. Most of the time we're climbing over stuff and bushwhacking. We've done a little bit of that today, but the main trail is right here, and it's really nice. Oh boy, something attacked it. Really? Yeah. Wow. I like did a little bit of a, a mend on it, you know? And it must have been chasing the fly. It just swirled around it. There's one. All right. Is there a pretty good one? Yeah, you know, it's the usual, I would say. On the 10 inches. All right, this was a lot of fun casting way across the river. Got him on a little uh, nymph, lightning bug, I think, again. Pretty cool little 10 inch brown trout. He doesn't want to go yet. <laughs> He's just sitting there. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Pretty cool, yeah. It's just they're rising all over periodically out here, coming up to probably blue winged olives, mergers, and stuff like that. But using the nymph under the water, picking them up every once in a while, I think that's. Two hits for me. Ladin just had a hit, so still lots of fun. <laughs>